Hey guys, it's Steve Quillian from Wood Window Makeover, and uh, we're here in our glorious office. Somebody came in the other day and called it my man cave. Well, you know what? Hey, you gotta be comfortable. And you know, what was really cool about it, you know, is that they came in, you know, and one client sat right here, you know, and another client sat in this chair right there, and we just had a conversation, you know what I'm saying? And I think that was the point of, you know, putting the office together like this, man cave or not, you know. But I'm here today uh, because I had a question come through on Facebook about important books that somebody could look at for window restoration and replication. And I thought, you know what, let's just talk about probably my most influential books, okay, and how they've helped me. I think probably the number one book, okay, it's, I don't even know if it's in print anymore, um, is, uh, is this one here, uh, Windows and Skylights, by, um, printed by Fine Home Building. Printed in 1995 here um, by Taunton Press. The, um, it's got a lot of good stuff in here, you know. Um, but I think the number one thing in this book that um, I like is not this article on, re, this, this guy makes it too complicated on restringing double hungs. Um, but the one article that really got me started is by um, this guy right here, John Leak. Um, and the question I had in um, my, you know, in my career was, uh, we had this house in Tampa that we bought as an investment. And I looked all over far and wide for um, an article or some, some information on you know, how to make a window sash. Man, and I can promise you this, there's nothing out there. I mean, nothing. Oh, well, I, I take that back. Okay, you've got books like this, which is door and window making, okay? And it's got, you know, all kinds of stuff in there like, let's see. You know, practical stuff like doors and, you know, pictures like this with tenon and it goes into a mortise and, you know, stuff like that. It's very good information. I didn't know this book existed, but it doesn't really tell you really how to go about making the stuff, okay? Um, John Leak, he really broke it down, you know, and some of his, I still use some of his um, methods out of this article today. In my sash making stuff like for example and look look how he is making this tenon here all right I don't make a tenon this way I have made a tenon this way but now I use the same type of principle but I use a table saw and um, look here this is this is the basics of how the um, you know how the, the the coping bit works with the you know the tenon and all that kind of stuff and you can see he illustrates here how the coping bit goes up underneath the window stock to make the tenon, you know, and, uh, you know, and he's got the setups here for, you know, stuff like that. But also, I mean, I mean, back in the day, John, he was making his own bits to copy profiles and stuff like this. And, um, you know, I mean, look at I me, mean, look at him. He's sitting here showing you all the stuff you need to do to make this, the window sash. And, I think what's really cool about John Leake in this article here is he's basically showing you how to do it, you know, with a small footprint, you know. And I've taken John Leake's, you know, advice and his his spurring, you know, and, I, and I've basically taken what John's doing, you know, in this article, and I've condensed it down to a ten by ten square, you know. And uh, I take the principles of sash making that I learned here and, you know, and elsewhere um, and condensed it into um, uh, just tools that you can buy locally, available tools and setups and stuff like that that are easily obtainable. You know, you don't have to go and get like big, you know, you know shapers and, you know, big, you know, big, big tools. You don't have, you know, you don't have to get them, you know. Um, you know, that, that's what I really liked about this article. That's what really was my number one influence um, in getting this. Now, this, now I think uh, this article, you know, if you, if you message John Leake on Facebook or Instagram, um, 
he's, you know, I, I seen him post PDFs of this article, you know, so you don't have to go out and get this, you know, Windows and Skylights book, you know, um, to, uh, to get you started. But that, okay, that, here, and I'm still talking about John Leake, all right? Um, the next book that um, I would introduce to you is this one. Um, it's, 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 it's a compendium. John Lee's got several books, and this book is a compilation of the best ones. You know, the wood windows, wood epoxy repairs, columns, gutters, details, well, managing maintenance. Um, and you can get each one of these books independently, the wood windows, you know, the epoxy repairs. Um, but, you know, this, this, this book is like 50 bucks, you know. But uh, it, to, you know, to get all the other separate, I mean, I can't, I don't know how much it is, but you know, it's a lot more than fifty bucks. And but it's got everything you know about wood windows and wood epoxy repairs. Now, I've got his wood columns and his gutter. I've got all the other books, you know. But honestly, I, I, you know, I don't, you know, I've never needed to like dive deep into that realm. But for um, doing your window work and your window repairs. Um, and replication, there's, you know, he's got all the information you need in this uh, wood window section, wood epoxy repairs, and then I would also suggest this managing maintenance uh, book that he has in here. It's so important to think, the managing maintenance book is so important because um, it goes into detail about the thought processes that our forefathers had in putting these um, putting these uh you know windows together and these old houses and things like that it was a different thought process back then and they managed their maintenance difference differently and he really does a good job at explaining that and uh, it's got the majority of the information in here that you will need to know um i mean stash repairs he gets it all broken down for you um the joint stabilization tools I mean, that's an old picture there but the the tools are still the same um you know Epoxy repair. He shows you how to do, um, how to stabilize the sash. There's a picture of the window zipper. You know, um, it's there. Let's see what else has he got here. I mean, how to, you know, how to fix a bowed meeting rail. There's, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here that um, you know is necessary. And then he's got, you know, the wood epoxy. That's the other part that's really important. And he does really, it's just such a good job of explaining. Um, all the things that you need to know and about, you know, how to do your work on the windows and stuff like that. And then last of all, let's see, that's that managing maintenance thing. Ah, this is John's right here. You know, um, this, you know, assess, plan, maintain, evaluate, do the cycle here. Yeah, he's got such a great explanation of that. Um, and it's, you know, if you incorporate this, just this one thing into your thinking in your old house, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a game changer, you know? So, and so these two books, you know, this article, you know, this book, you know, are the, uh, probably the number one and number two. Um, now, um, now for practical, you know, for practical work and stuff, you know, um, I, I can say that, <sighs> Um, well, actually, before I move on to Gary Katz, um, talk about Scott Seidler for a second. Um, Scott Seidler is my buddy in Orlando. He's got Austin Historical, um, and this is his book, Old Windows Made Easy. And he's just come out with a second edition book. It's a lot thicker. I don't have it yet. And, um, the, uh, and so, I, you know, but, but this book here, you know, it's, it's, I think it's, it's a critical book because, you know, unlike... Uh, John Leake, you know, who's an encyclopedia, Scott Seidler has gone through and basically shortened the version, you know, shortened it up, you know, to make, to get it all, uh, I mean, all the basics in there, everything you need to know to get started, you know, working on your windows and stuff like that. It's a, it's a, it's a bare bones, uh, no frills, uh, you know, explanation of what we're doing as professionals, you know, in a fundamental sense. I think the really cool thing about, probably the coolest thing about this book is this right here on, it's not even on page one. Um, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the forward. So if you look at this forward here, you know, you read all the way through that and get to the very end. 
Look at that name. See that right there? That's a Steve Quillian, a you know, wood window makeover. So I wrote the foreword, you know. Um, so it's a very important book, <laughs> if, if you ask me. But it's, it's, you know, it's really important. You know, Scott, you know, he consulted with me, you know, writing the book, you know, so that, you know, he could get my thoughts on it and stuff like that. But I think that's, that's a really important book. You know, this old window is made easy to, uh, you know, to really get you started, you know. Now, um, that's like level one, level two type books. Now you're going to get to level three, level four. You need to start getting books like, you know, Gary Katz. Gary Katz is the man, you know, because one of the things that we run into with um, historic windows and window restoration repair is casement windows, okay? Because uh, I, I tell you this because casement windows are different. That's just what, I mean, they're like, they're like in a completely different universe than working on double hung. Double hung windows, they slide up and down, they go on these tracks, right? Um, and the tracks keep the sash, you know, firmly in place without moving. The, the casement windows, they open up like doors, okay? The one, it might open up this way, it might, might open up that way, they might open up together. They're like French doors, okay? The tolerances are very small because the windows are usually smaller. You know than the actual doors, and the reason Gary Katz, the man, you know, installing doors. The reason this book is so important is because it explains everything about how to deal with doors. You know, what I'm saying, and casements are like small doors, and there's no book on casements, so I refer you to this one. Okay, um, this this for example, look, installing a pair of solid core prehungs. Okay, he goes through and explains. The uh, you know different fit problems that case that casement windows would have. They, they apply to doors like down here the gap is too big, um, up at the top you know the gap is too tight. There's different problems that you have. He tells you how to solve those problems, and the solutions to this are the same as the solutions to um, uh, casement windows. Let me thumb through here a little bit again. Um, you know, it tells you like, okay, this, you know, this is just something else here. All, all the things that he explains in here, all the math that you need to know to make a casement work properly, it's, you know, it's, it's in here, you know. Um, this like, if you, this, this picture right here, these side lights. These side lights are you know, basically casements here. Um, it gives you a little bit of information on, on scribing and making everything, you know, everything work. It's so, uh, you know, it's so, so nice. Um, all the all the information that he gives you, it's you know, it's it's crazy. From page ninety six on, um, this is where we really get. Okay, I was I was there. Um, this is where we really start to get the information. I mean, this see this see the planer he's using. That's an old school planer that you would use to plane in a door, but you'd also use that to plane in a casement window. You know, and it sh shows you how to use it there, chamfering it in. What else you got? Um, ah, look at this, see? <clears throat> Here's we go. Advanced door hanging, where you've got French doors and how to, you know, how to solve the problems that French doors have. You know, he's got, you know, shims up here, little tools to, uh, to hold things in place. Here he is scribing, you know, the curves and the radiuses and stuff like that. Um, man, it's just everything you need to know about solving these problems for casement windows is in this book. So, you know, Gary Katz is the man. He's still teaching today, you know. So I re highly recommend this book as well. Um, the uh, other book, you know, that's important to me is this one, a Circular Work in Carpentry and Joinery by George Collins. Um, the, uh, the cool thing about this book is, you know, if you've ever seen like my gothic arch sashes, you know, my bullseye windows, anything that has to do with the circle that I make, you know, I learned from this book here, you know, and it's got all the formulas inside that you would need to extrapolate the radius for, uh, you know, windows that you're working on, you know, and that's, you know, really, really important, you know, and how to, how to, you know, how to get all the stuff, you know, it gives you all the math that you need, and, and, you know, it's heady stuff, man, but I tell you what, you couldn't, you couldn't do the work that I'd do without it, you know what I'm saying, so, 
Um, I, you know, I, I love it, you know, so it tells you about Gothic arches and, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know, so, um, all right. So those are my, those are my main go-to books. Um, I'll tell you a couple of things, a couple of others that I have. Um, I've got the window sash Bible by Steve Jordan. You know, we're friends on Facebook and we, you know, we've conversed a few times back and forth. Nice fella. This is a, you know, this is like. John Leach's book, Expanded. Um, he's got every, you know, he's got everything you need to know also in this book about, about window restoration. Very good explanations um, and, uh, and, you know, and information here. Um, so, Steve Jordan, Window Sash Bible. Um, here's one here. Um, I can, you know, yeah. I know John Leach's involved in this one too. I don't, you know, I don't really like this one too much. Um, well, you know, only reason is, uh, is that I think it's, I think it's so heady, you know, it's so theoretical, you know, that it's really, really hard to use. I mean, um, the, uh, I, mean it, I mean, if you look at it, it's got, it's got good information in it, you know, but I, you know, in my opinion, extracting information out of this book is it's so hard, you know, especially for us, um, what do you call it, um, attention-challenged people. Um, so I think, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, it's, but I think it's kind of confusing, you know, confusing because it's got, you know, it's got one way to do things, three things, three or four ways, different kind of, you know, to do things. I'm just, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, <laughs> I'll be the first to say it. I don't think the book's that great. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is another one I, I got later. Um, this is one that's called, uh, door making and window making. And it's, it's just your typical, it's just your typical old school book. You know, it's got the old illustrations in it, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, it's got great information for understanding how the windows are assembled and put together and the thought process and stuff like that. Um, that's another, another good book. And then there's this uh, Practical and Modern, Modern Practical Joiner by George Ellis. Another super heady book, man. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just chock full of everything that you could imagine about making any kind of millwork and, you know, and how you do it, you know, going about, you know, the math and, oh, it's just so crazy, you know, you know, so, um, but those, you know, those books, um, these are the books that have been really important to me in, in making, you know, this business, it would have been a makeover, you know, what it is, and it's given me a head full of knowledge to, with which to make decisions and uh, come up with solutions for people. And um, just to recap, you know, it all started, you know, with my friend uh, John Leak and you know, his book, Windows and Skylights, where I found his article on, um, um, you, know, you know, how to make a window sash. You know, making a window sash, being able to, is so fundamental to the window restoration industry that I think anybody who doesn't know how to make a window sash or have access to somebody who makes a window sash, I think they're seriously handicapped in their business. Um, I mean, they might not think so, you know, they might have different goals and stuff like that, but, you know, you know. The other, the other one, you know, is the uh, compendium by John Leake. That's, uh, you know, it's really, really, really good. Um, the other one, again, I'll just repeat, you know, is um, Old Windows Made Easy by Scott Seidler. You know, I highly, highly recommend. And, you know, and if I was going to get a book first, you know, to get started working on your windows, I'd probably get this one. You know, it's just because the sim you know, it's so simple and so boiled down, you know, the processes are so there. So um, I would get this one first. But, I, you know, I would not not get this one, you know what I'm saying? And I would not not look up this article by John Lee either. You know, I look all those up. You know, and then as you grow in your you know experience, you know, then you you go out and you get the one on, you know, doors, you know, hanging doors and stuff like that. And if you get really advanced, you know, you can do your uh, circular work and carpentry and joinery and stuff like that, you know, take really take it to the next level. So uh, I hope that's been informative for you, and um, I look forward to hearing what you have to say about it. Um, you never know. Maybe we'll uh, give some of these books away.
pretty soon. You know, I've got a couple of extra copies of this old Windows Made Easy. I've got a couple of extra copies of the Practical Restoration Reports Compendium. I've got a couple of extra copies of the Windows Sash Bible. You never know, man. Uh, I love you guys. And so, you know, it's just in my nature to want to give you something like that to help you in your journey. Uh, as a matter of fact, can't end this session without saying that tomorrow is Window Liberation Day, and we're in Window Liberation Week, Window Freedom Week, you know? And um, we've got some of these Window Liberator shirts coming in. Uh, they're going to be for sale pretty soon, and we've got some people signed up who already want one. And uh, in the celebration and honor of Window Liberation Week, we have our first Friday coming up, July 6th, where for free, we're going to teach people the window chops to uh, get them started working on their own windows, whether it's business or for themselves or whatever. So that's right here at Wood Window Makeover, 1706 West Cypress in Tampa, Florida, 33606. So I think, I think that ends it. So I love you guys, and thanks for watching and being a part of our window restoration journey. Love you guys. Over and out.